Dizzying rounds. Hmm. Shots from less than 8 meters stun enemies and open them to finishers. Plus 200% status chance. But again, it's a Bronco augment. And because I know people are going to ask, no, nope, it doesn't go on here. It literally goes from C to H. Which means it is for the Bronco. The normal single-handed Bronco. And there it is. First off, need to max this, so how much will that cost? Probably not a lot. Uh, no. I thought I clipped that, but never mind. Uh, yeah, 210. But why would you even use the single-handed Bronco when the Prime exists? It has twice the magazine. It has an extended fall-off range. Noticing that this mod falls between the minimum fall-off range of the normal Bronco and the Bronco Prime. Normal Bronco is 7, Bronco Prime is 9. This mod falls right in the middle with 8. It has twice the magazine capacity, it does more status, and it does 70 more damage. That's... that can't be right. 70 when the damage difference is 8 more impact, 1 more puncture, and 1 more slash. 80 more damage. Uh, all frame math. That's because you have to remember the Bronco Prime and the Bronco is a shotgun secondary. Hence it has such a low fall off. Hence the other reason that this thing it's all about short range. Shots from less than 8 meters stun enemies and open them to finishers. Plus 200% status chance. It takes it to 38.6% status chance per projectile. Remembering it's 12.9 without it. This is why these numbers, 128 impact, 16 puncture, 16 slash, 64 cool, that's because I have to format this again to be able to fit what I want in here. So Ice Storm's in here, increasing the magazine to 7 while I do that. I haven't actually formatted it yet though. Um, yeah, that's why that damage goes to 4390. Remembering this is not about the build, as I've just said, I have to format this. These are just in here while I do that. This is all about the low range, but being a shotgun, it's per projectile. Meaning if you take off multi-shot, that damage plummets a lot. You want multi-shot on any and every shotgun based primary or secondary. Which is where the 200% status chance, uh, yeah, that's nearly 40% per projectile. And there's a lot of projectiles because that's 180% multi-shot and increased fire rate. You could, if you really wanted to, put uh, lethal momentum into the Exiler slot that will increase, because I can actually fit this in here, the fall off which increases the range of this, but again, this is not about range. This is about opening them up to finishers at close range, less than 8 meters. With a little bit of work, what you could do is instead of slip magazine and ice storm, which I am running for the increased magazine, you could throw magnum force in that will take that measly 7,000 damage it had before and turn it to over 10,000. Nearly 10,500 damage by putting that in but having less of a magazine. This is why I keep saying this isn't about builds, this is about close range and honestly max damage with this to get this mod to kick in? Not such a good idea. You do not want to one shot enemies with this. Hence I left it at a 7 magazine and it was only doing uh, 6,742 I do believe was the max damage it was actually doing. Yes, the Bronco can be made to be powerful. I didn't make it to be powerful because again, and I don't know why I'm defending the build on this at all, it is completely rubbish, but yeah, the whole point of this was to stun enemies, so you don't want a great deal of damage on it. Hence, I increased the magazine so you could kind of see it working. And working, it did. I actually, using this thing, was quite impressed with how effective it was. I missed being able to have that extra 4,000 damage and just take them out instantly. But it was fun. 
You have to remember that this is for a weapon that nobody uses anymore. The Bronco, you basically use the Bronco until you build a second one. You level up the first one while the second one is building so you can build the dual Bronco. You do exactly the same with the Bronco Prime. You build one while leveling it, you build the other one, then you get the link and you combine the two and you build the dual Bronco. There is nobody who runs around with the standard one. The reason this happens is it has a little bit of a higher fire rate, it has double the magazine, obviously does exactly the same damage, but takes a little bit longer to reload. And you have two of them. Bigger magazine, more damage. And you mod it exactly the same and it's great. But, as mentioned at the beginning of this, doesn't this mod does not work in those, which is exactly the point of an augment. It takes you back to using normal ones. Just a standard normal Bronco. Or Bronco Prime in this case, I should say. Which allows you to actually use a weapon that nobody uses anymore, that can still do the same damage as the dual wielding version does, and give it a, a nice perk. At close range, it stuns enemies. You could put, was it Auger Pact? That adds an extra 90% damage and increase the damage past the 10,500 damage point and take them out really quickly. If it was the dual wielding one, yes. For the single one, I would still take the bigger magazine and the ability to stun them and get the finishers any day. It was more fun than being able to just one-shot your enemy. Which is really weird to see in a game where you want to take them out as quick as possible because they're kind of in the way stopping you from completing your mission. But yeah, it added a new kind of functionality to a weapon that honestly I think I will uh, leave this. Well, on the Bronco Prime I will leave it on and I will use this for... Nightwave missions where you have to kill 10 enemies or 20 enemies using finishers. This would be great for it. I think I may take off the the multi-shot, try and lower the damage a bit more, because you will still take out enemies with it, even in its more, more magazine-style build. But if you put too much damage on, it doesn't really do that much towards stunning them because you're just killing them with one shot which as I mentioned before it's good but it means that this augment doesn't really do anything which is a shame because there are many weapons that will open enemies up to finishers this just takes a weapon that hasn't been used by many people who may still have it in a long time and it makes it new again which is exactly what it did I haven't used this thing in years and ran around with it for a couple days because it was just a weirdly new feature to be able to stun the enemies and then use finishers on them. Which makes a change from just one-shotting them as I mentioned before. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.